ways to wear crop tops is with high-waisted skirts. They look so cute and so effortlessly and thrown on. So this next outfit has this beige crop top in a tank top form, also from H&M, and this super bright patterned butterfly skirt, also from H&M, and it's got a really crazy pattern, and I love that this can tone it down and gives it that. So I paired this with a... So this outfit I tried to make a little more fashion forward for all of you fashionistas out there with the high bun and the feather earrings proving you that crop tops can be worn by girls who are into fashion who aren't just looking to get laid. Because let's be honest, in seventh grade when I saw girls with crop tops, I was like, ah, so what? So it doesn't have to be like that. You can dress totally cute and wear a crop top and not look like you're selling your body. So this next outfit is a legit crop top outfit. It's definitely something you'd have to wear in the summertime, probably not to school, but it has that um, casual beachy boho vibe that I really, really like. And so on top, I've just got this peachy salmon um, crop top that I got from H&M. It's super basic t-shirt material. And on the bottoms, I've just got a pair of loose true religion jeans and a belt. I definitely think crop tops are something you have to wear a belt with. If you're going to be showing your stomach or anything like that, you're going to be seeing the top of your pants. And I always think top of the pants look better with a belt. And this braid one gives it a cute little feel to it. And also because this is such a simple outfit, I only paired it with simple earrings. These feather earrings and bangles. So this next outfit... So this next outfit... No. So this next outfit definitely has to be my favorite out of this. It's really inspired by the boho laid back feel of crop tops that really has that whole like loose carefree look which I absolutely love and this is my favorite way to pair this. So this crop top is an off the shoulder purple one and I absolutely love it. For off the shoulder tops I always recommend wearing strapless bras just because I think bra strap showing look pretty tacky, but um, I have this pair with slightly high-waisted jeans. I would have worn my really, really high-waisted jeans, but I couldn't find them. So pairing this with a pair of high-waisted jeans would work so cute. And just like a fun, detailed belt. This one is cheetah print, what I absolutely love. And what I love about the crop top that's off the shoulder is one of my favorite ways to wear that is with your hair pulled into like a messy side ponytail. And you can even add it and make it even more boho with a cute little headband, something that has this. It's gonna look so, so, so cute. And in that thrown together but really put together way that I think most outfits look best when it doesn't look like you try. So it's kind of like a, I just threw this on and I look fabulous. So crop tops are definitely a trend item. So I wouldn't recommend spending more than 20 to $25 on a crop top just because you don't really want to have a crop top to wear when you're like 30. I think it's definitely a thing that is definitely for younger people just because it does have that like more like sexy connotated image with it but in the ways I showed you I thought you can really dress it down and not make it be too skanky but I think you should definitely try and buy them at places like Forever 21 and H&M because they always have super cheap super trendy clothes. You can you also can cut the bottoms of your shirts if you want to make them crop top, but unless you're like good with the sewing machine and like can hem that and stuff, and like, yeah, I wouldn't recommend doing that because then it'll just look like you you were having fun with Barbie clothes. So crop tops come in all different variations of like cropped or a house right there. There are gonna be tons, some that will like literally go right past your boobs, and there'll be ones that'll go just showing a tiny bit of midriff. So if you're scared of showing too much skin, you can get crop tops that hardly show any skin at all. And on top of that, you can wear crop tops with high-waisted things, which give you that whole illusion of like, oh look, I'm wearing a crop top, and fitting in with that trend, we don't actually have to show your skin. I personally am not that huge of a fan of wearing tank tops under crop tops, just because I think it can look kind of strange and odd, and like, why not just wear a regular shirt if you're not going to wear it as a crop top, but I think it's really cute if you wear a pattern tank underneath, or I've seen people who wear lace tank tops underneath, so obviously it doesn't really cover as much, but it gives you that whole, like, maybe a little more extra comfort of feeling like, oh, I'm not, like, showing my stomach. So for me, the one things I would stray away from with crop tops is you really do need to be careful of what you wear with them, considering they do have a typical connotation of something that's more sexy, and unless you're trying to go for it, a streetwalker look, I really wouldn't pair them with anything short, unless you're like at the beach and you're wearing shorts, that's totally fine, but I don't really think that it's really appropriate to show a lot of stomach as long as like, or like a lot of legs and a lot of chest, a lot of arms, all at the same time, because it's like overkill. At least on my point, I think you should try and leap a little bit to the imagination. As for when you can wear a crop top, crop tops are 100% definitely a spring and summer thing. Fall and winter crop tops are a complete, complete no-no. Definitely don't think you can get away with wearing this in the winter or fall, even if you wear layers. Just it, It's definitely a spring and summer trend. As for shoes to wear the crop top, I am a strong believer if it's warm enough to wear a crop top, it's warm enough to wear sandals. If it's not warm enough to wear sandals, then you shouldn't be wearing a crop top. I think boots and crop top, it's so oxymoron -y. It's like wearing a North Face and flip-flops. It's just, it doesn't work together. If it's warm enough to wear one, then wear the other. If it's cold enough to wear one, then wear the other. It, if that makes any sense to you. So I definitely think they're strictly a sandals. Sorry. 
there's a, honestly one for everybody. So you guys just keep looking out there. It's definitely one of those trends that's kind of, it's, you have to find the perfect one for you. They're like high-waisted shorts. It takes a couple tries to find the perfect crop top that'll fit your body shape and make you feel comfortable, but it is out there. It exists. I promise. <laughs> Just me, or is that song really sexual? I don't think it's just me. All of you have dirty minds too.